I'm here in North Vancouver. I'm actually at the Capilano Suspension Bridge. It's the end of October right now, so they have their special Canyon Frights going on. So I want to walk around a little bit during the day and then wait for it to get a bit dark. I think there might be some more lights and then do another walk around to see what kind of lights they have. So come along. Greetings, everyone. Pleased to meet you. I'm Elizabeth, former manager and current and current haunter of the park. My dearly departed husband, Mac, and I are hosting a little Halloween tea party today. Words for the wise. Our ghostly guests might get a bit mischievous, but it's all in good fun. Yours in spectral splendor, Elizabeth and my Mac. Does she know below? Does she know that you're a little crazy? Like I once learned. All the things you did but never showed me who you truly were. So it's totally decked out here for fall, Halloween. They got skeletons, different multicolored leaves, pumpkins. They really did a good job. Over here is the loggers grill. Look at these cool seating areas with fire pits. The loggers grill, there's outdoor seating and you just order from the counter here. There's beef burgers, chicken burger, salmon burger, veggie burger, hot dog, rib sandwich poutine and a selection of drinks so not the biggest menu but it does smell really good on the grill over there and I did end up ordering lunch from the loggers grill I got a salmon burger with a side of fries so if you're still Last time I came here was last late November for their Canyon Lights, the Christmas Light Festival. Really well done. And actually, if you're a BC resident um, or BC resident, your membership actually gets you entry for an entire year. So um, I visited last year. I haven't gone since, but I'm coming again now before my annual membership is up and um, going to see. I mean, it just happens to be Halloween right now. So it just happens to be the Canyon Frights, but they do have a lot of activities throughout the year. So again, you just buy your ticket once. If you're a BC resident and it's good for the entire year, you can come as many times as you like. So last year when I came here for the cliff walk, it was dark, so it wasn't that scary or I couldn't really see what I was walking over. So let's go take a look now that it's light out. So just go down these stairs here. Oh, Alright, so I can see <laughs> what's up ahead here, this little walk over the cliff. It's very narrow. Wow, there's a really nice view here of the Capilano Suspension Bridge. I'll go over that next. Okay, a little scary now. <laughs> We're going off in this like round circular kind of a thing here. You can see it's just attached to the rock by those cables there. Whew, okay, it is a, this is a bit scary. I don't know why. It definitely shouldn't be, but maybe it's Halloween. Maybe it's just that little bit of shakiness. It's a bit freaky. <laughs> and here's another view here of this little cliff walk. It's just supported on the cliff here in this big, you know, circular Thing just hanging here so it is shaking a little bit it's kind of freaky and there are these little pullouts every now and then because um, of course it's gonna get pretty crowded here so you can kind of pull over and take your picture here so you don't clog up the little walkway so this part walking on here it is still suspended but more like these more look like rods not just like flexible cables so this part doesn't really bounce at all whereas that little arched part you were definitely moving and bouncing a little bit Here's an up-close look at how these uh, bridges and walkways are supported here to the rock face. Yeah, if you're scared of heights, I definitely recommend doing this at night because then you won't see any of, any of this height. But then again, it would just seem like you're just walking on a regular walkway. You're not going to get any of the, <laughs> the concept of how high you actually are. I thought there was going to be a part here that was like glass so you can look down. Maybe this is what I was thinking of. No, I will freak out. Promise I won't stop until you hold on. Never let go. I will just freak out. Darling, I won't stop. 
And they also have this Cliff House restaurant and bar. So there is quite a bit of seating inside or if you wanted to sit outside, enjoy the nice weather. You can sit here. I think it's a bit more expensive than the outdoor kind of place, but they do have a bigger menu. And I'll take like this <laughs> All right, let's go over the suspension bridge here. For some reason I don't find this as scary as I did for the cliff walk. This seems like, even though it's shaking a lot, it just seems a lot more sturdy for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because it's been here for so long. Here's a good view here of the cliff walk as well. Definitely popular. I don't know if the gimbal will allow it, but you can hopefully you can see like just how much it's rocking side to side. And this isn't even with people purposely rocking or anything. This is just people just walking normally. This is how much it shakes. And if it's really busy, it's really shaky. Woo! It's a bald eagle over there. A couple of them. One just perched on the tree here, and then another one flew by underneath. I don't know where it went. So on the other side of the bridge here, there's this cabin concession stand. You can get some coffees, hot chocolates, like little donuts and treats, or even ice cream, I guess, if you're brave enough. It's kind of cold right now. And it's just starting to get dark, so I'll take a walk here, see some of the lights. Again, they did spooky it up for Halloween. They have these like spiders and different things. But some of the lights are the exact same thing as the canyon lights, like these white uh, floating ball kind of things. They were there during um, last year's winter display as well. So maybe they're here all year. I do like how they put music, like obviously for the Christmas one, they had like Christmas themes, but um, now they have kind of spooky kind of instrumental music. It's really cool. Sure, I figured out that I never ever really got you. It was in my head. Now my pretty little word is turned up. Whoa. This is Grandma Capilano at over 250 feet tall, 76 meters. Grandma Capilano is the tallest tree in this forest and over 1300 years of age she's also the oldest and i want to go up here to try this uh, canyon walk this walkway suspended in the trees here so let's go try that so if One of my favorite parts here is definitely this treetop kind of adventure canopy area with like a few different suspended bridges through the treetops here. It's really cool, great views, not too high, and of course very popular for photos, a lot of people taking pictures. You are standing in the middle of a temperate rainforest and is one of the rarest types of rainforest on the planet. The canopy is the top layer of forest that is home to almost half of all plant species. It doesn't feel like we're high, but if you look down here at this little boardwalk, we are actually pretty high up here. Treetop's adventure was crafted entirely by hand to avoid damaging our natural ecosystem. No trees were damaged during construction and no major machinery was used to put the bridges and platforms in place. Instead, we used old-fashioned pulleys and ropes. This unique adventure was designed for your safety, as well as the trees. In order to avoid harming the trees, there were no nails used to attach the bridges and platforms. Instead, the trees are circled with specifically designed steel collars that spread the pressure out equally around the tree. You can see the cable there suspending it to one of the trees. And then here's a shot of how they're suspended at each like little station kind of platform. No, So after doing the cliff walk, the suspension bridge, and the treetop adventure, I definitely think this treetop adventure is my favorite. I don't know, it's just so fun. 
you feel like you're not that high, but you can still look down. You got the little bit of the shaky bridge action going on. Especially at night, it's really pretty with these uh, lights here. So I guess it ends up being a big loop here. I'm back here at the cabin. And there is another walkway here to the left. I'm not sure what this is called, but I'm gonna go down here. It's been raining for days now, been running like a child. Can't feel the cold, well I'm lost here with you, lost in the woods. I just saw a sign here. I think this little area is called like the nature walk or nature boardwalk. But yeah, it just loops all along the river here. Okay, let's see who's in the Trading Post gift shop here. And to finish off my visit, I stopped by the Berry Brew and got myself a strawberry shortcake waffle and also went to guest services and got a complimentary I Survived Capilano Suspension Bridge certificate. Alright, so I'm going to head out now. Hope you enjoyed seeing my visit to the Capilano Suspension Bridge, checking out the Canyon Frights. And that's it for now. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's going to take a lot. Because we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I've failed. So can we work it